Just like the, the power rule there, uh, quotient rule is pretty similar. Uh, again, we have a problem like this, so uh, quotient rule. What power rule means is multiplication. I mean the product rule, sorry, we haven't got to the power rule yet. The product rule we talked about uh, deals with multiplication. The quotient rule is going to be dealing with division. So uh, one thing you're going to see common is our base is always going to stay the same. So if we have an x here and an x here, our base is still going to remain x. Uh, next we're going to do with our exponents. We can actually subtract our exponents and the way you're going to do this is you are always take the top number and subtract the bottom number. So 9 minus 7. And then your coefficients we're going to divide or simplify. So looking at a problem like this, what I would do is I would come up here and say well 4 we're going to itself once, so we're going to 8 twice, so we get 2. So our answer to a problem like this is actually going to be 2x to the second. Now, to tell you the truth, in a problem like this, I wouldn't go through the process of subtracting my exponents. I would treat it just like I would a normal fraction. Now, I would look at the top, so when we were talking about the 8 and the 4, what we did is we said, well, is there a common factor between those two? What do they have in common? So we divided both of them by 4. Well, same thing here. I would look at the x and say, there are 9x's multiplied together on the top, 7x's multiplied together on the bottom. What do they have in common? They have 7x's. So if you take 7x's away from the bottom, you don't have any x's left. If you take 7 away from the top, you're going to be left with 2x's on the top. So again, the little quotient rule might be good to remember that.